So one of the first questions that you might have when it comes to exporting configuration and content into code is where do you put it? Well, with the features module, it wraps everything up into modules, so you put them inside of your code base, just like you would any other module. But for other things like the schema, you'll need to find an alternate place to put that data. Now there's a few options. First of all, you can create a new repository for assets like your database dumps, source files for images or mockups, other tools that you need to share between members of your team. And the benefit to this is that all of these things are going to be a bit bigger than actual code, which will grow pretty slowly. In an assets level repository, you might have some binary data or some really long data, like database dumps, that's going to take up a lot of space, and that's going to be heavy between revisions. So for example, if you make a change to a binary file like a Photoshop file, then every time you create a new revision of that, it has to copy the entire binary file. So you don't get the space saving that you do with text, where it just saves the revisions. With binary, the entire thing is considered a difference. It's not as if you're saving any space by creating new revisions instead of just copying the file. And for people who are working mostly on the code base and don't need the assets, then they can simply have that one repository. This also might be the simplest solution because even though you have to create a new repository, the other two options involve reorganizing your current repository. So for example, one other solution is to put Drupal in a subfolder of your repository and then create another folder on the same level called assets and put all of your assets in there. Now once you do this, it means that when you do a checkout of the project, that the project isn't going to be at the level of your website. So it will instead be in a Drupal subfolder. We're going to use a third option in this demonstration, which is creating an assets folder inside of our Drupal folder and then hiding it using an HT access file so that people can access it through the web. So there's a couple of downsides to this. One is that we're altering the structure of Drupal a bit by adding our own custom folder to the root folder of Drupal. And this, in one sense, is modifying Drupal core. And it means we need to be careful when we do upgrades so that we don't accidentally delete our assets folder. Another issue is that these assets will be on production and that we're hiding it from the world there still might be something in our configuration that allows somebody to bypass those controls and get access to them. The third issue is the size issue. So if we have a lot of big files inside of our assets folder, then everybody is going to have to have those. 